Well, good afternoon, or evening, or whatever time you're watching this. Today I have my new KG916 Jim Rush radio. Just checking out the fit and feel of it. Um, I've been using it about a month now, and my first impression is that it's a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a real tiny radio. But with the, um, the extra capacity battery, it's a pretty stout radio compared to you know, there's the uh, the B Tech uh, B1, the 805G, and a 9 UV9P or 9G, excuse me. And if you line them up, it is a it's a little bit shorter. And if you do a little profile comparison, it's comparable to the the 9G. It's a little thicker than the 805, and it's thicker than the V1. Real quick, the big differences, I guess, uh, compared to some of the other radios, is that the, the belt clip is on the radio itself. It's not on the battery. There's a little clip on the bottom that locks the battery into place, and it releases it nicely. And it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery. It is rather thick and it's kind of contoured to fit your hand and it's got a recessed valley right there for the belt clip which I really like let me get the battery in here first there it makes a nice slim profile for the clip the belt clip so it's less likely to get snagged or anything in a way I will say that I really love the size of this antenna being a little bit shorter I really like the way this sits in your hand or my hand at least it has uh, it just it just feels good I mean it's a little bigger but it feels very secure in the hand um, balanced I guess maybe that's a term you use for it but I find myself carrying this radio and using it more than the other radios it's, it's just maybe the new new novelty of it I don't know um, but I like the fact that the, bat, the buttons on here are soft rubber uh, compared to uh, say the 9 over here uh, top button soft the push of talk is actually plastic and then these other two are soft rubber all, all of these are nice soft rubber and it has the, the Kenwood style connectors over here you have a screw to take it off if you want or leave it on I'll probably take it off if you're going to use your piece um, what else the buttons nice and tight it's really firm you have pre-configurable buttons on the side you can do several different functions it comes with scan for the top button so like if I want to hit the scan get start scan I just push it and it's gone and uh, if I want to stop the scan I just push it and it stops now by way of comparison to say the V1 if I want to scan I have to hold this button for a second or two actually hold it a little bit longer actually hang on I have it locked let me turn, turn it lock off push this and hold and then start scanning the 805 if I want to scan hold down the AV button is wait wait and there it goes now it takes off scanning and then for the 9 if I want to scan I'll press just hold it and go and the other radio, turn the radio down and it's scanning fairly quickly too this is probably the fastest scanner I have actually it is the fastest scanning radio also the display differences. This display is, I guess it's white. And if you look at maybe the 805, you have more of a uh, standard LCD style. A little bit larger, some of the text, some of it's smaller. But this is perfectly readable. In daylight and sunlight, they work beautiful as well. The V1, it's uh, pretty good. It's a little bit grainier, but it works in 
daylight. The 9 does not do well in sunlight. It just doesn't. It's got a nice color screen, and most of the color screens, unfortunately, suffer from having a washed out look. You have to shade it if you want to like look at it in the full sun. That's the price to have a color screen, though. Battery takes about five hours to charge. Basic math, you take the, the amperage of your charger, and then you divide that into the capacity of your battery. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's a half amp charger, but a half amp charger and 2600 milliamp would be about five hours uh, to get a full charge from a dead battery. Actually, it says it's a 450 milliamp output. So, close to half amp. And this charger actually is compatible with the 9 bits. I'm glad to see that there's some compatibility. Ocean doesn't really, a lot of times they just don't seem to do that. They have a variety of, uh, of, of chassis. Also a couple things to note that the, uh, the keypad is four buttons across. The 9 is five. So these have to be a little bit smaller to fit on the front panel. And because it has a bigger screen, it's got a smaller speaker. Over here you have it totally flipped. You got a bigger speaker at the expense of a smaller screen. It's going to what's best is probably what's more important to you. Um, you know, I like to see stuff, but I also, you know, I think to me hearing is probably more important than, than, than seeing. And I would prefer a better sounding uh, speaker. My, I would have uh, I have some hearing issues, and I prefer to have some a quality sound coming out of a radio. And I think this is more pleasant to listen to. It's got a little more, I would say, bass, but it does have a better bottom end than uh, this for, this this one for sure. The nine and even the eight oh five. I didn't mean to make a comparison video of, of the basics of the radios, but um, I mean, obviously, people are looking at. Uh, here comes a chapa. I'm gonna do a little sound comparison of these three ocean radios. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the V1 to use, and I'm gonna use an uh, Argent Data System Simplex repeater. That way we can transmit to it, it can transmit back to audio, and we can kind of you know, do a, somewhat of a test. All right, first up is going to be the 9G. This is a KG UV 9G testing, one, two, three. This is a KG UV 9G testing, one, two, three. 805. KG 805G testing, one, two, three. KG 805G testing, one, two, three. Sounds good, both sound good. Sounds like a little bit more bass. KG 916 testing, one, two, three. KG916, testing one, two, three. And, I don't know, that sounds, they all sound good right now, but, uh, I'm leaning towards this one. And at that point, they all sound pretty good, but hearing different transmissions uh, from a variety of sources, this one seems to carry a better, a, a better tone. Uh, to my ear could be different for other people anyway there you have it the way it sounds uh, listening to the same signal coming back to them and by the way they're all set to wideband so um, you can you know, just make sure they're all set to narrowband or wideband that way you get better audio quality hope it's been helpful to you and have a good day